as a developer probably that you want to learn from other people and then that helps you to to improve your own skill in the development so right now i got sandika gali and we want to interview him in this video and we can learn from his experiences and maybe you can introduce yourself first all right thank you first of all anga thank you for having me here yes. uh guys my name is sandika gali i'm a lecturer in informatic engineering in one of the university in indonesia and i'm also have a youtube channel that teach you about web design and web programming yeah that's cool okay so before we start i want to say that welcome back to my video in youtube <laughs> And today, as I said before, that we want to interview him to learn about the web developments. Okay, so maybe that. Uh, so, how are you, and what is you working on right now? Okay, thank you, Anga. Uh, uh, so right now, I'm fine. I'm very good. Uh, and right now, I'm working on. Beside lecturing, I'm working on a series on my YouTube channel called object oriented php wow so that my audience can learn about basic understanding of uh, object oriented concept object oriented programming yes. and implemented in php programming language php okay so <clears throat> as a lecture then sometimes you do the video youtube channel for your audience how do you manage that all right so uh First of all, I, I create. First of all, I create a video in YouTube, to supplement my course. So yes. to supplement my lecture. Yes. So I don't I don't do it for YouTube at first. Oh, okay. Uh, I know that it's not enough time mm -hmm. in the class to explore the web design and web programming. So I ma I made a video to help my student learn. A lot about the topics. Oh, so cool. uh, I made I made the video uh, when I have a time. So uh, I I try to make it one or two video per week. Yes. Uh, as in in one semester, I teach like two or three classes. Yes. So I have spare time yeah and in my spare time i try to create a video for my student oh. but fortunately beside my student there's a lot of people that uh, watch them well, cool. so uh right now i have like 29 or 30,000 subscribers in your YouTube? Yes, in my channel. Uh, but I think a lot of them not my students. Wow, so uh, 20, 27,000. Yeah, 27 or 28. Yeah, 20, around that. Yeah, around that. And uh, uh, you mean that there's, there's uh, those subscribers is not from your students? No is from Indonesia. Yes, main wow. of main of my viewers are Indonesia. 90 97% cool. are from Indonesia. Uh, that's the problem, guys. Yeah. Uh, if if you tell someone to do something, yeah. It it's hard to make them watch that. Yeah. But if you go to YouTube to try to find by yourself, that's a different story right yeah, yes so when I, when I tell my student to watch my video yeah I don't think all of them watch them oh uh, because not not all of my student likes the web design oh, uh, web programming okay uh, Sandika or Gali I call you you can call me Dika okay Dika so everything happens behind of the reason right. so we want to know that what's the reason that one uh, that make you want to teach and to do the video in YouTube? All right. So that's a good question, actually. Yeah. Uh, the first thing that I l liked about teaching someone is that there's a saying that say this. Uh, when you teach someone, yes. you learn something. 
Yeah. Right. So, you, uh, the better way to learn something is to teach someone, someone. right? Yes. So and and, and I have uh, I have a benefit of that. Yeah. Uh, I like to share or teaching someone since I was in a college. Wow. So I was an assistant for, uh, for the lecture, the lecture, yeah. and for the lab. Yes. So since then, I like to uh, share my knowledge and making uh, other people get something from my yes, or from my knowledge. From, yeah. So you you can say that it is my passion to yeah. to teach. Yeah. Some, some so the main reason is you happy to and willing yes, to do of that. Course, yes. yes. So you just sharing what you have and then you can explore the another skills. Yeah, and True. then you can share with everyone. True. Including your students as a lecturer. True. Yeah. That's Be- nice. <laughs> because you know that uh, I I think you you do it as well. Yes. When you work on some video, yeah. You have to learn before. Yes. Right? I have to well prepare. So when we prepare, we learn something. Mm. And most of the time, we learn something new. Yes. So I think that is I think that's the benefit of sharing something and teaching someone. Yeah. That's cool. So currently you are the lecturer of the web programming, is it? Yes. Sure. Yeah. And then sometimes you do the video YouTube channel and you, you are good at the manage that time and uh, do you take any project beside that? You mean uh, software development or yeah. web development? Uh, in, yeah, everything. Okay. So at first, uh, in in uh, my my first year of teaching, or first three years of teaching, I usually take a project from a client. Clients, yeah. So if if there's someone who wants to make a website for. For example, yes. either a website personal, yes. blog, or a simple e-commerce, or their company profile, uh, I take the project. Oh. But uh, for, I think, two or three years back, I stopped taking project from clients. Why? Because one of the thing, one of one of the main reason is. Uh, a lot of tasks that I, a lot of tasks that I have to do in campus. Yes. So I don't have time to do project. Yeah. But I c- I still take the project and give it to my students. Wow. Because so uh, I think I think my students have the ability. Yes. Have the skill to uh, finish the project. So I sometimes give the project to. My students, my chosen student. Like that. What a kind guy. <laughs> yeah, so that's nice. So uh, you don't have time to take the project yes. to working on that, but you take it, but you can give to your students. Yes, but students. the best students, right? Yeah, sometimes I give it to my assistants. Yes. Uh, but uh, I know that. I know in my class, I know which student oh, that has the ability yeah. to. Because the client know that yeah my name is yes. on the line right yeah. <laughs> so uh, the, the second thing is uh i don't choose the most smartest student yes because as you know uh there's also attitude yes uh, taking big part of a project yes so uh i choose the student that has skills and also a good attitude okay so Keep on mind, you if you have a good skill, but you 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 don't have to forget your own attitude, right? So keep your attitude good. <laughs> okay, so I think we want to know your biggest challenges because in life we sometimes we got the challenges that improve our skills, right? So uh, challenge as a developer. Yes. All challenge right. So I think the main challenge as a developer nowadays is a uh, technology is very much change every day yes it is improve every day so uh, if you learn something today it's not guaranteed that next year yeah that technology will still I don't know exist maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
uh, there. So I think in in our ecosystem, right in mm. our uh, technology world, right now, there's the biggest things. The good thing is it makes us uh, not stop learning, right? Yes, not stop so learning. Every day we have to learn something new, so we can keep up with the latest mm. yeah. technology. Yeah. So that challenge that make you want to learn every day. Yes. Up to the with the technology, the latest one. Yes. Yeah. This is nice. And have you ever worked with the designer previously? And how do you work if you have had? Okay. Uh, I think one project you have a designer and developer, right? Yeah. Okay. In my previous year as a developer, I rarely work with any designer. Yeah, because uh, I do the design by myself. Wow. <laughs> uh, so if if any cool. clients uh, wants me to make a website for them, so I I make the design. Yes. And then I code it. Wow, double job. <laughs> yes, we call it Superman here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I I do the design, but I mean. Uh, straight into the code yeah so i i work straight into the html css oh. and making making a front end yes i don't do what photoshop yeah visual design or visual design yeah. so you strike to the html yes. css but uh, uh, you straight got, to yeah sorry but you got the brief previously right yes yeah. from the client yeah otherwise you can't right yes. But the the downside is, uh, you can do you cannot do exactly what you wanted to do. Yeah. Because I usually work with a framework. Framework. Like Bootstrap. Yes. Or Materialize. And when you work with that kind of framework, you have a limitation, right? Yes. You can do, you cannot do something that that framework cannot do yes so i think it's better to work with a designer that mm. that makes the design beautiful yes and then we as a programmer or coders or developers code that design yeah so it means that uh, as a designer they have to follow the guidelines yes. of the of that framework true yeah that you will work on yes yeah it's because nice. sometimes programmer tends to uh, straight to the code, not yes. thinking about the visual, the visual design. Yeah. And yeah, uh, as a developer, what tools that you use uh, usually to building the website? All right, tools, first of all, of course, we need a weapons, right? Yes. The weapons, uh, code editor. Code editor. You, you have to have a good understanding of a code editor yeah what i'm using now is sublime text sublime sublime text which version three three so the last one sublime text version three but i i i heard that there's a new guy mm. in the field Whoa. uh i'm, I'm not I, I haven't tried this yeah it's a Visual Studio Code. Oh, Visual Studio from the Microsoft. From the Microsoft, yeah. I think. Yeah. Everybody told us it's great, but I haven't had a time to yeah. switch because I think switching bef between one tool to another tool, uh, it's a learning curve. Yeah. You have, to, you have to allocate the time to learning something new. Yeah. And I think I'm not ready for that. <laughs> so, guys, uh, if you have already used the Microsoft Visual Studio Code, probably that you can share the your experience to us in the yes. comment, right? Yeah. If we uh, tell us why is it good? Yeah, why? And why someone should switch between Microsoft Visual right. Studio? Yeah. All right. So, uh, as a developer, uh, we can learn from other experience, but if we want to learn from any resources that maybe you have some resources for the developer to improve their own skills. All right. So resource. If you're watching this video, yeah. 
this is a resource, yeah, right? Yeah, this is the resource. <laughs> so the the first thing that I want to say that internet is one of the biggest resource right yes. now. You can you can search anything on the internet, especially in YouTube. You can learn the basic day by day activity or even more advanced thing like programming or engineering. That's the first one. But also there's a a lot of website that that gives us the resource. Yes. In the coding world, there's a lot of a lot of website that gives us a uh, resource, I think. So first is internet and second one is uh what do you say? Online course, right? Online course. Online yeah. course. Uh, YouTube is free, and if you search premium online course, and I heard you have an online course also. Right? Yeah, I'm doing online course premium in Udemy. In Udemy, so you can you can check his <laughs> works on Udemy. <laughs> Thank you. So that that's the that's the one of the thing that you can search. Yeah. Uh, internet, YouTube, free and online course. Yeah, the platform. And also, don't forget about books. Books, because uh, you you cannot find anything in depth. Yes. Beside books. Yeah. I still read about uh, something in details in yes. book in literature. Yeah. For example, if you if you learn about practical web design, there's a lot of things in the internet. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go in depth, you have to go to books. Books. So. Uh... I think if you are feel lazy to reading a book, start with the small things to reading, uh, part one, part yes. two. Yeah, don't don't try uh, so hard on yourself. So previous uh, previously that I asked you about the resources, right? Okay. Uh, is there any tips for junior to improve their development skill? Okay, junior for those of them who like to start. Yeah. Okay, I'm designer. Okay. And I want to learn how to code. What well, what can I do as a beginning? Okay, so uh, coding is not something that you can what remember. Yes. It, it don't like uh, what history or mm. geo geographic, mm. right? Coding is something that you have to practice over and over again. So, if you are, so if you want to learn about programming or development. There's a lot of practice. You have to continuously learning every day. Yes, so I if agree. You, if you want to uh, be a web developer, if you want to be a web developer, you have to make a website every day. Yeah. <laughs> as simple as that. So don't stop learning. Don't stop practice. coding. Don't stop practicing. Yeah. I, see. I agree for that. So practice makes perfect. Yes. Yeah. And then <laughs> there's, that's not, that's not a myth. Yeah. That's true. That's fact. Yeah. Practice makes perfect. Uh, I have uh, some question. Sorry, I have one question about this practice. Uh, are you uh, Are you agree if we have to remember a whole of code or we just need to know the function of every single code? All right. That's a very good question. Yeah. All of my students ask them every time. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, do, you ha do we have to remember every... <laughs> Single, single code. line of codes. Yeah. And I say, yes, you do. And then they <laughs> fade. <laughs> no, the answer no. is no. You don't have to remember all of them, right? You yeah. have you to remember some of them. Yeah. The most important functionality, the most important uh, line of codes. Yeah. Uh, and then don't afraid. Don't be afraid to read documentation oh. so it's not a it's not an exam yeah it's not an exam so you you that you cannot cheat mm. you don't have to afraid to read documentation open other website open books yeah so don't remember it and c maybe can try to inspect the others yes Scott, yeah, yeah. Uh, as a developer sometimes that we are working with the other people which is uh, their developer either. So uh, 
how do we inspect that code you mean you agree for that all right so one of the one of the thing that you can improve your own skill is mm. to see other people source code source code or yeah. do, what what are the people doing uh, as a reference yeah as a reference in in website you can easily see it by uh, using the browser tools yes. called inspect elements Element. uh, there's a tool that can make you learn also so don't afraid to see what other people's doing yes. don't afraid to inspect what are, what other people's doing oh okay that's nice okay dika so there's a lot of developer in my subscriber in my friends in yeah outside the world yeah from youtube that watching this video and how do they can contact you to ask some question about the development skills all right okay so if you want to know more about uh, web design or web development or web programming you can go straight to my youtube channel you can search web programming unpass but unfortunately uh, currently it's still in Bahasa Indonesia, Bahasa so Indonesia. I, I, I giving a tutorial yes. in Bahasa Indonesia. You can see that a lot of tutorial from basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript, yeah. and even PHP. Yes. Uh, and also you can search about behind the scenes of what I'm doing. You can follow me on Instagram at Sandika Gali, and you can also follow me on Twitter at Sandika Gali also. That's cool. So, okay guys, I hope it was useful for you and don't forget to come and visit his YouTube channel and Thank I will you. provide all of those links in description so you can find easily. All right. Well, thank you very much, Gali S. Dika, uh, for this interview. and well, Thanks for having me. Yeah, I hope they will learn from you something new this right. from this video. Okay, so nice to meet you from Indonesia. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.